Bye, Casey. Later, bro. See you, dude. We'll be up here killing targets. See you, dude. Saw, dude. <laughs> we are uh, getting the bows dialed in, or should I say making sure they're still good. We made some small adjustments, but uh, Logan's up. He's going to shoot. Dead center? Yes, sir. All right. If you guys travel and uh, you have your bows with you, always check them at camp. You never know if something's gonna get bumped. We've been uh, traveling for about two and a half days. Everything seems to be on though. Except for that one. What happened there? Yeah, what did happen there, man? Cause you're dead bullseye on the first one. Dude, that might've been the arrow that the fletching. Let me try, let me try to redeem myself. <laughs> Redemption time. Shot number two. Might have been just that arrow. A man. little high, but that was solid. Okay, I'm up next. I'm gonna take two shots. We'll see who can get him tighter. Here you go. <laughs> what are you shooting there, Eric? Hoyt Defiant. 31 axle to axle. In the last two years, I've I've shot a 34 inch bow. I'm coming to realize that these shorter bows are much better for me. I have 27 inch draw length. Very good. Lefty, ladies and gentlemen. Lefties matter. Putting her in there. Good, man. <laughs> that looks like it's in the dead center. How far should these shots be? Uh, on the tree stand? Range from six yards to twenty yards. Heck six to yeah. twenty, man. So <laughs> this is twenty. I'm feeling pretty good. Woo. Let's go check them out. We got that on video mode. Another thing I like to do before we get the trail cams out is uh, set them up and sample them make sure they're shooting right and triggering right dude i don't know that's pretty close dang i think you got me beat logan we did pretty good why did i think that first arrow went off so bad oh it probably hit your other it probably just made so, a sound that's why we thought he missed I got scared we thought it bounced off but it just hit my other arrow dude are we approved approved man yes, certified sir. okay we're ready all right guys, we just got dropped off for our first night uh, hunting bears. Logan's up first. Yes sir, I'm in the stand. That little blue thing right there, that's a bait barrel, ladies and gentlemen. Should get the rage finder out and see how far that is exactly, but uh, we're ready to do it. Our guide's about to leave off on the boat and he's gonna leave us all alone. It's just us and our bows. Yeah, the first night we're gonna sit double. I'll be camera guy. Logan's got first dibs on <laughs> good bear that comes in Thank you, sir. but we're up here in northern Saskatchewan hunting with reindeer reindeer lake trout camp the guys run an awesome operation for, for, for both fishing and hunting and we're doing both on this trip but right now um, we'll be hunting bears so we fish in the mornings and we hunt bears in the evenings and this is uh what it's going to look like for the next five nights pretty quality deal I think it's a pretty sweet setup these mosquitoes though they're no bueno I think uh, tonight's gonna be a good night. If we don't see a big bear, we'll at least see something, I think. We've got the stealth camera down there. Um, I put it on video mode, so if a bear comes in and Logan can get a shot, hopefully we can capture it on trail cameras too. That'd be a pretty cool point of view. That'd be sweet. Hopefully, fingers crossed.
right behind the shoulder, we think. Dude, good job for being patient. Holy crap, dude. I was, I was drilling. Two bears came in. You drilled him, dude. Dude, heck yeah. Dude. Hush and life. Archery hunt and nailed him day number one. Good bear, too. Good bear. Whew. Dude, six. <laughs> Holy cow, that was cool. I don't think he went far because he freaking put a perfect shot on him. We're gonna give him some time and uh, there's some other bears that are still hanging around that might come in and my bow. switch spots maybe I can hunt the rest of the night maybe it's my turn but uh if not we'll wait for our guide to come in and get us good job Logan. dude that's exciting <laughs> all right you guys um we just got done watching this other bear it's a little bit smaller Eric's bow's on the ground um, but we have a bear down so we're gonna climb down this we're gonna go check it out see how he looks excited It's been about 40 minutes, so I think he's bled out. But we were up in that tree stand right there, and we had this stealth cam pointed right towards the bear bait barrel. The bear bait barrel, we had the stealth cam. Yeah, we set it up on video mode. So yeah. that thing was set to video mode. Hopefully we got some video of the bear. That other, your bear shouldn't be far, dude. Let's go check him out. That bear doesn't want to leave, huh? Saskatchewan, Canada. Um, the thoughts going through my head about this bear right now is I never thought I'd be in the shoes that I'm standing in right now. I've always wanted to use my bow to take an animal and get some meat for myself, but it's real life and it's happening right now. It's awesome. We sat up the tree sand, watched them come in. Just no big deal. Two bears walking through the forest and uh, got a shot off. Felt good about it, felt confident, died quickly, good kill. I'm jacked, I'm jacked out of my mind. I can't believe that we just killed a Saskatchewan bear in Canada. Very first archery tag, very first time in Canada, and I'm here, I'm doing it. Beautiful animal, beautiful animal. Got tints of brown in his coat, super thick hair. Good looking healthy bear. Looks a little bit older on his face, looks faded, but. Good bear, good bear. 